I need to tell you what happened to me today when I went to vote. It's the Australian uh, local council elections, Saturday the 4th of November 2021. I'm a 38-year-old woman with a disability and I live in the Blue Mountains. I went to vote at my local polling place, which was one of my children's public school. When I got to the door, um, a man stopped me there and asked to see my, uh, asked me to wear a mask and I told him I had an exemption. Um, and then he asked to see my exemption. Now that's happened to me a couple of times lately. So I told him that he wasn't allowed to ask to see my mask exemption. Um, only police are allowed to ask you to see your mask exemption. Vaccination exemption is a different matter. He told me he didn't realize that, but he let me in anyway. And then when I get to the bottom of the ramp, there was another woman checking people before they went to sign in to vote. She told me that I wasn't allowed in without a mask. I explained again that I had an exemption, which is legal. And she told me that even with an exemption, I wouldn't be allowed into the polling place to cast my vote. Now in Australia, um, for those of you watching internationally, we have full open democratic election processes, but it's also compulsory for everybody to vote. So not only did I have a right to cast a vote um, as, a, as a citizen, I actually had a legal compulsion, a legal obligation to show up and vote even if I didn't want to. So I was there to vote because I was compelled to and because it's my right to. And she was stopping me at the door from going in and voting. Um, I told her that that was completely illegal, that I had a right to vote just like everybody else. She insisted that if I didn't leave, she'd call the police. And so I said, okay, call them, call the police. We'll talk to the police about this. I'm interested to hear what they're gonna say. We went outside and she disappeared ostensibly to call the police and while I was waiting another woman joined me who also wasn't wearing a mask and had a legal exemption. Um, I told her what would happen if she tried to go in and vote and so she waited with me and she was keen to know what the police would say as well. Now the AEC, the Australian Electoral Commission officer returned without police just with a piece of paper. I asked if she'd called them and she said that she wasn't going to. I thought about insisting, but I wanted to listen to what she was going to say. And uh, she offered to write my name, date of birth, address, all my personal details down as they appear on the electoral roll and walk me up to the roll to sign me in or sign me in herself using those details and then usher me individually to a voting booth in this very wide open hall that was well ventilated with only about five other people in it so that I could vote and not be in contact with anyone at the same time. Uh, she maintained that because it was an electoral commission workplace, they were putting additional rules in place above the public health order. <clears throat> but that hasn't affected me in my own workplace. Uh, I've been working for months without wearing a mask under a legal exemption and I'm protected by my employer. My right to do that is protected by my employer and is protected by law. So I didn't see what that had to do with it. Anyway, I maintained that by offering me preferential treatment, she was still discriminating against me and that I didn't want preferential treatment. I wanted to vote the same way as everybody else who was lining up with or without a mask and that we should not be discriminated against, whether positively or negatively on the basis of disability. She kept pushing the fact that she was trying to support me and I pushed back saying that I hadn't actually asked her for support and that I didn't need her support. All I needed was access to a ballot booth and a ballot box to vote just like everybody else in Australia or New South Wales or this local council electorate, whoever's voting right now. But this is the first election that we've had since COVID started anywhere in, in my area. It's the first time I've been asked to vote. So it was interesting to see how this differed from all previous times I've voted. She eventually did allow me to go in and vote, but she had put up a significant fight. And I believe that it was only because of my loud vocal protesting in a courtyard filled with other people who were either there to vote or had just voted, that because I was calling her out in public like that, she realized that she didn't have any grounds to stop me and she let me in. Now, I think it was interesting that she didn't call the police as well. But I want anyone to know if you're going to vote today, or if you're going to vote in coming weekends, if you've got local elections, state, federal, whatever it is, wherever you are, you do have a right to uphold your legal exemption not to, not to have to wear a mask. 
You do have a right to vote, even if you're not vaccinated. People can't discriminate against you on the basis of disability. We have into anti-discrimination laws to protect you against that. And if you stand your ground and if you have support from people, then you can have the same rights as other people. But it's disgusting that I should have had to protest like that. It was humiliating to be dragged out in front of those people who were all congregating after having voted and being separated and offered to vote in a segregated situation. Just appalling. Australia 2021, what the hell is happening?